My name is Heidi Penrose, and I've been coming here for about two and a half years now. Okay. And so what we're going to do is adjust Heidi today. We are using a technique called KST, which is corn-specific technique. It's a very different way of looking at the body, a different way of adjusting. Um, you'll notice that we use a handheld tool, and it's really gentle. And what it'll do is actually tap the bone into the right position. Um, we can do a lot more with this technique. Basically, what we can do is, um, if you notice, she's in a standing position. So most patients actually start in a standing position. We will almost never lay you face down unless you tell me that it hurts when I lay down. Because no one gets hurt laying down on a table. So we actually start you in a standing position, change, occasionally change you into a seated position. But also if Heidi were to say like, oh, it hurts when I do this, like raising her arm or tilting her head, we would actually tell her to do it. And then adjust her in that position so the pain will go away that much faster. Okay, we use in order to address what's going on with Heidi, we're actually going to use what we call is the occipital drop, and it's a way of accessing her body's energy. It's using the back of her head or the occiput. So what we're doing is actually using our hands to find out exactly what's going on with her. We're going to use the occiput, and basically what I'm doing is finding out if there's anything in what order to go. The way this technique works is that we actually are going to go in a very specific very specific order to what her body needs. So, is it above the waist, below the waist, front of the body? So when I get a yes, I'm basically following her body and knowing where to go. So one of the things we found on Heidi is a panic pattern, and what it is, <laughs> right Heidi? <laughs> um, basically what happens with the panic pattern is the sternum goes up, almost to protect the heart, and the tailbone tucks in, kind of like, really easy analogy, is when a dog gets really scared, they can tuck their tail in. Well, they can pop their tail back out. Us humans, actually, the sacrum stays in and it kind of gets tucked into a, a tucked in position and you get kind of caught in this panic loop. So what we do is by using KST, we actually adjust it so the loop breaks, much more relaxed. So we're going to start right down the front. And then I'm going to actually adjust the tailbone nice and easy, really quick. And that was part of the panic pattern. More in the stream still. The really nice thing with KST is that we can do a lot of cranial work. We can do it really, really quickly, really, really effectively. Um, right now, Heidi has her sphenoids are out a little bit. So what we're going to do is just take the arthro stem and gently tap. If the sphenoid's out on both sides, a lot of times, actually, that means that she's not sleeping as well as she could be. So by getting it adjusted, she actually should feel really relaxed and actually sleep a little better tonight. <laughs> so, yeah. The next thing Heidi has is her parietals are out a little bit. And basically what we use is just a two-prong. There's different accessory attachments. And really easy, we can just go right up her parietals on both sides. Very nice and easy, adjust them. Things that we can do with KST is actually adjust for emotions. And by that we do it a very, actually a really quick way to address the emotions is we actually use an emotion chart. Um, this chart actually has probably a hundred different kinds of emotions on there. And by finding out if it's left side, right side, which section and what number, we can get to the, the heart of what the emotion is and the exact number that this patient needs. So what I'm gonna do is using the OD, because I already got that she has an emotion. I have that, I got a drop on the fact that it was on the chart. So I'm gonna say left side and I get a yes on left. So that means the right side is a no. And then I would say A, I got a drop on A, and then one, two, three, four. So basically you just count down, you do left side, right side, A, B, C, D, E, one through 10, and then you get to the number that she needs. And right now, she, A, four is anger. So she's a little mad. Um, women don't tend to admit that they're angry about anything. So I, a lot of times I'll just say, think about something that's frustrating you, that's causing some anger, um, and just think about that, and then we'll adjust to find out where we need to go. So think about that. <laughs> And a lot of times with the motions, you'll end up with the cranium or the sacrum. So it really depends on where you're at. And 
start with the tailbone. With women, to me, the sacrum is family. So it's about usually something in the family aspect. So that's usually kind of the key to where we're at. And now we're back up to the cranials. So a lot of times we see sphenoids, we see temporals. It really depends on the emotion. Are you doing good? No, no, no. Great. And a little bit of the temporals too. And you just adjust until it's clear. And then what I would tell the patient is just think about that again. Clear your mind, but then think about it again. Heidi had mentioned that her shoulder hurts a little bit, especially when she raises it. So what we're going to do is actually have her do that while we're adjusting. So, okay, go. So maybe bring it down again, and then raise it up again. Good. Relax. And we're done.